What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video and I wanted to say Happy Halloween. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a Halloween design and give you the ability to download and see and use this design that I'm going to create today just because it's the holidays and I want to give back to you guys for all of the help that you've done and all the followers that we've gotten over the past year. So, so I hope you stick around and watch me draw this Halloween design and remember Okay, so with Halloween tattoo designs, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, you could do plenty of different things to make a great Halloween tattoo. You know, you could go with more horror stuff, um, like Freddy, Jason. I've done a ton of that. I've done a ton of Jason masks, Freddy claws, all that stuff. I think for this, I had a customer come in and wanting a traditional Halloween tattoo, you know, with some pumpkins. Um, and then I have pretty much free range to be able to do that. So I did that tattoo, but I'm just going to do a variation of the tattoo that I actually did. So you guys will be able to use it. Um, I'm not going to tattoo this on anyone. So you guys can, you know, practice drawing it or just use it to practice on your own fake skin. So whenever I start out, I always work with my sketcher and we're just going to map out what I want to do. I think I'm going to do three pumpkins with some stuff in the background. So we'll start out with my main pumpkin right here. I'm gonna draw this up like it's on a forearm. Obviously, if you are tattooing on fake skins, it really doesn't matter. Um, so our main pumpkin will be right here. I'm just kind of mapping in where everything's going to go. Just drawing our shapes, we'll have the other one. Overlapping a little bit right here, a little bit smaller. Then we'll have our other pumpkin right up here. And we'll add some leaf right here and a leaf right here. So now we could go in to start mapping everything out. I'm going to use my perfect circle right here. Perfect circle right here. And pumpkins aren't perfect circles by any means. Um, you know, they could be oval, stuff like that. So we're just using this as a reference. And we're just going to draw in our lines. So it is Halloween today, so I wanted to ask you guys, what are you dressing up for? Obviously you've seen what I am going to be, and that is Iron Man this year. Yep, last year I was Spider-Man, um, and it was super fun to do, you know, dress up in costume. I actually went to see Spider-Man and wore my costume um, with my daughter, which was awesome. But yeah, just leave a comment down below what you are going to be this year. I'd love to, you know, at least be able to see what everyone else is going to be. I think we're going to add some leaves in just a few of these too. Up top. Now we have the basis of everything. We could go in and start mapping out, you know, how we want our faces to look. This one I'll do more of a traditional style jack-o'-lantern. I think this one I'll do more edgy and scary. This one I'll do just a regular kind of happy. And I'm just going to do a couple different styles. I don't want all the jack-o'-lanterns to look exactly the same. So I'm just going to do little differences with them. So yeah, having three different pumpkins right here. And now we could go into doing our leaves. So whenever I'm doing tattoos, I like to use references a lot, especially if it's like an actual leaf, you know, fall time, Halloween works really well together. So I decided to go with some maple leaves. So we'll go through here on a different layer. So I'll be able to move it around whenever I'm done. I'm just going to map out pretty much the basis of this leaf. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to change some stuff to make it look 
more neo-traditional, but just the outside of this leaf, we're just gonna go through and very quickly sketch it out. Cool, that one's done and I have another reference right here. Just a little bit of a different style. Good. And doing it on a different layer so we could also move it around and do whatever looks good. Okay, now we can get rid of that layer and start to move some stuff around. So we're going to have this one go behind these right here. So I kind of like how that looks. And then this bottom one. Be a little bit bigger, turn it a little bit. That looks good right there. Awesome, so now that we have the basis of everything, we could go to a different layer and start with our blue. Now we're gonna go through and finalize everything, get everything pretty much set up for the final process. And you want to turn down your opacity on these so it's not overpowering and you can see everything you want to do. And also, you know, if you have an iPad or some paper, you could also do this along with me. If you didn't want to just print off the design or download the design that I'm going to add in the description section, by all means, draw with me. That way you could kind of like pick up on how I'm doing everything because learning how to draw is important. I know it takes a ton of time and it can be frustrating at times, but you know, if you want to become a tattoo artist, it's definitely a main thing you're going to want to learn. And we're not going to follow this perfect circle. I'm going to add some ridges to it right here because pumpkins will have these little ridges and you don't want to just do a perfect circle to look awkward. Another tattoo I've done a ton in my career is Jack Skellington. Uh, that's probably one of the main Halloween tattoos that I've done throughout my career. It's just a lot of people love that movie and a lot of people get it tattooed just because it looks awesome. And also if this video is able to help you out and you really enjoy being able to download this file to be able to print off and everything, I definitely would recommend that you check out our Tattooing 101 sketchbook. Inside it has 74 designs in it. To be able to help you guys out, you could literally just print them off right away and get into tattooing without having to like, you know, work on how to draw everything. Even though that is important, you do need to learn to draw, but if you're wanting to just kind of focus on your tattoo work to get better, that would be something that will definitely save you a ton of time and just be able to, you know, print some stuff off very easily and get at it. I also had a thought that maybe adults don't dress up. I, I'd like to say that I just dress up because my kids want me to, but I'm not gonna lie, I like to dress up. You know, it's cool to, you know, at least once a year, just be whatever you want to be and just be able to dress up and, you know, have fun. So yeah, I mean, if, uh. Anyone asks me on the street, like, why am I dressed up? We'll be like, oh, I got kids. But at the end of the day, I actually really enjoy doing it. Just don't tell anybody. Now with this, I'm just gonna add some parts to this leaf to where it's kind of like disintegrating and just makes it look old, like it's falling, you know, cause it is fall. So that makes sense. Also, you're going to use some different line weights to this design. So if you're going to print this off and want to tattoo it on fake skin, depending on the size of your fake skin, you know, I recommend like a palm size tattoo. I'd set my stuff up. So I'd probably use an 11 or a 14 round liner. And then for my small lines, I'd use like a seven or a nine, depending on how big you're doing the design. That's what I would use. 
Cool, so now that we have our sketching done and pretty much everything mapped out exactly where we want it, as we could see, we're gonna turn down the opacity and work on our final design. I'm also gonna add some color in this just so if you wanted to tattoo this, everything's pretty much set up exactly how you'd need to to tattoo it. And here's our different line weights. So I'm just pressing very lightly on it so it doesn't make a really thick line like everything else. So this is what I would use a different size cartridge for right here. And as you can see, I'm not going through the whole design like I did the first time. I just used that as a reference so I could just go over the lines without having to, you know, erase everything where I'm going through my design. That's why setting it up and doing everything in the different layers and setting everything up that way helps out a ton. I know no one wants to hear it, but now that it's Halloween, Christmas is right around the corner. Which is crazy to think about. So that means in three months, I have been on this journey of, you know, YouTube and teaching you guys how to tattoo for exactly a year. And I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I've had so much fun this last year, you know, learning how to do the best sort of content, you know, the different angles for everyone to be able to see what I'm doing. Not only tattooing content, but being able to connect to everyone on a level, you know, how I talked about my alcoholism and all the issues I've had throughout my life and just being able to help people has been such a great thing in my life over this past year. So I greatly appreciate you guys for all of the support that you've had throughout this year. And I cannot wait to show what next year brings. And if you're drawing this along with me, feel free to add your own stuff, you know. There's plenty of room around this design to add some spider webs or some other cool things. I'm just keeping it simple, you know, if you're first starting out tattooing, you'll be able to print this off and be able to tattoo it efficiently. And, you know, be able to see the things that you need to learn a little bit more of. But, you know, if you're drawing this along with me and want to add some stuff, feel free to do that. Then we could go into colors. So. With this design, I'm gonna choose some really nice earthy tones. Obviously the leaves are gonna be like reds, yellows, and the pumpkin's gonna be oranges. So it's gonna have a really nice color, color palette to it. And you know, just give the feeling of fall. So now we can get rid of this layer and this is our outline. So this is pretty much what we could print off to tattoo it. I'm gonna use this as a reference so we could shade it in. I'm going to start out with the leaves. Okay, let's find a good dark red. Go into like a almost a golden color of yellow on the top. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect, now we can get into the pumpkins. Obviously the inside of the pumpkins are going to be black. I'm 
uh, like that. Uh, throw some color in these leaves real quick. Let's go with an olive color, sticking with the very nice earth tones. You know, kind of like transition away from all these oranges and reds right here. I'm gonna pick a really nice orange for the pumpkins. Too much there, there we go. I'm gonna add some black to these. All right, and this is our design. Now we could copy the background, paste it, turn down the opacity. Put it in the background and just very quickly erase the lines that are in our design. And it looks like a professional tattoo. You know, this would look great on an arm or pretty much any area to where it has a little bit of flow. You could see that the natural curves of the design would look great on you know, pretty much anywhere on the body. Also, I'm going to leave in the description below not only the outline of the design, but also the colored in version. So you can print them both off or use them as references to be able to help you guys out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and happy Halloween. <laughs>